Now, when you're warming up for this particular program, you wanna warm up with the first pair of exercises that you're gonna be doing. So, your goal is to find your six rep max. Now, what I suggest doing is around three warm up sets. Now, I never suggest doing more reps than you're actually gonna be doing in your workout. So, here we're gonna be doing six reps. So, your first warm up set should be anywhere from five to six reps with a medium amount of weight. Now, a medium amount of weight, if you want a percentage, I would say maybe 60%, 70%, somewhere in there. Basically, you're not looking for a pump, you're just trying to loosen up the body for whatever movement you're about to have it do. So, you'll do one warm up set, five to six reps, take a short break, maybe one minute, two minutes. Then you're gonna perform a, another warm up set, but what you're gonna do is increase the weight you're working with, but decrease the amount of reps. So let's say our goal was to use 100 pounds for our first set. So our warm up sets would go like this. 60 pounds, we'll do six reps, take a short break. Set two, we go from 60 pounds, we go up to probably 80 or 85 pounds. And instead of doing six reps, we probably do anywhere from three to four reps. Now, as you're performing those three to four reps or those six reps, you're basically trying to feel out how hard it is and try to project how hard it's gonna be for six reps. So as you're doing that 80 pound warm up for three or four reps, you're thinking in your head, okay, how hard was that? You know, okay, I know I could have pumped out 10 of those. That's definitely too light. So then you do one last warm up set. You go from 80, maybe up to 90 pounds, 95 pounds, somewhere in there, and just do one or two reps. Okay, now as you're doing those one or two reps, you're trying to think in your head, okay, how hard is this? It should be challenging for those six reps. So during this warm up, it's one, allowing you to track how much weight you should be lifting once you get started, but it's also helping turn on the nervous system to be ready for what you're about to have it do. If you just run in the gym, try to pick out your six rep max and go, your weights and your numbers are definitely gonna be lower than if you came in and warmed up. Now, once you already know how much weight you need to use, because you already have week one written down, what you're gonna do is look at week one's numbers. So let's say week one, you had 200 pounds for your first set of six. So now you already know what your goal is gonna be to warm up with. So you're gonna be shooting for 200 pounds or slightly more for your first set. So in this example, if we had 200 pounds, we'll do 120, 135 pounds, somewhere in there for about six reps. And then again, go up in weight again in this example to probably around uh, 160, 165 pounds, somewhere in there, and you're gonna perform three to four reps. And again, as you're performing these reps, you're trying to project how hard it's gonna be for six reps. So let's say you did the 165 on a bench press and you did four reps and you're like, yeah, you know, that was pretty easy. I know I could have got two more reps and then some, so you know you should go up in weight. So you do one last warm up set, one to two reps, and you go up from 165 to let's say 190 or 185 you just perform one or two and you're really confident that you can get 200 or maybe 205 for six and that would be a great place to start so that's the best way to warm up for this particular workout definitely do that it will help you use the maximum amount of weights from set one onward